In this video, we are going to talk about a rather important issue, which is the competition levels in class 9th and 10th and how fast they have been raising. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'll give a contrast to when I was in class 9th, uh, which was in around 2013 14. And it feels quite amazing, to be honest, that uh, so much time has passed since I was in class 9th because that was a period which was very close to my heart. Uh, and I'm going to talk about what I observe today in students who are in classes 9th, 10th and uh, what are the things you could be working on and how important it is for you to realize the kind of competition you guys are in right now and before moving forward if you have not subscribed to this channel yet you should because you are missing out on a lot because i think this is the only channel on youtube where you can find someone like me who has cleared all the exams all the olympiads with massive ranks giving you advice on all these exams okay you will i don't think there are many such channels okay so you'll definitely benefit from it so subscribe and notify yourself notifications on karna otherwise you will not see these videos in your recommended competition okay so let's talk about 2013 and 14 when i was in class 9th okay i'll give you a very brief uh, memo of what it was like so i was in a city called udaipur which is not a small city it is also not something like a delhi or mumbai or even a jaipur right it was a okay city so there were not a lot of coaching institutes especially for class 9 10 but still there was one uh, national level coaching which was in the city in which i was also enrolled and they were giving okay okay and sometimes good results especially in class 9 10 right there were a few j ranks in top 100 or so over the years like once in three or four years such a rank used to come and some olympiad medal or something like that would also happen once in a while but it was not that much okay so in tier 2 slash 3 cities coaching was not present to that extent only in tier 1 cities or in quota there was resources for students of class 9 10 where they could even think of exams like ijso or or even you can include ntc in this conversation right even ntc preparation was not that prevalent okay like in my coaching there were students i'm not going to deny that and there were a lot of students to be frank but it was nowhere near the level of awareness we have right now okay the awareness level of class 9 10th was close to zero back then okay uh, we do, didn't have any online courses nothing was there only some offline coachings so for example when i was preparing for ijs in this period in my coaching there was a batch called ijs prep but it was only for a name okay they didn't really prepare you for ijs to be very frank okay i had to study it on my own and there were some classes for example in delhi mumbai and kota i know at least some people who actually had a batch where actually stuff of rm or ijs was taught but not that much in my city or not that much in or even in metro cities not it was not that prevalent okay basically 9th 10th was seen as a period of fun it was not seen as a period in which you were supposed to study a lot okay some people like me did it anyway but it was purely out of pleasure purely out of our own interest no one was pushing us on us okay but now if we talk about 2023 2024 which is 10 years from today from that day which is the period you are in right so some of you must have entered class 9 now some of you must have entered class 10 now uh, by the way uh, i always had this issue that uh, i make these videos writing 9th slash 10th so do you guys like have an issue with it should i make separate videos for 9th and 10th uh, or should it be exam wise what exactly should it be uh, because i treat 9th and 10th as one unit okay i treat them as one unit on this channel uh, so let me know if you have too much of an issue with me treating it as 9th slash 10th instead of 9th or 10th a separate videos uh, because i like to talk about them together uh, okay so let me know in that in the comment section so this is today so if you talk about it there are so many online platforms okay so i'll talk about my own platform at boost where there is a j foundation course there's an ijso course there's an rmo course there's an ntsc course none of these things existed 10 years back even today not many coachings offer such kind of courses for these exams with the level of expertise that we have uh, so you can check this in the description on in the app or website if you want to enroll in these courses but these things are not there okay even offline in even tier 2 and tier 3 cities now there are batches which exclusively prepare for you for uh, your ntac for your ijso for your rmo even for j and neat early on okay and especially in tier 1 cities or quota now it's a complete industry just like j like i think that now 9th and 10th is as big of a thing as j used to be 10 years back like 10 years back j and neat used to be the big thing right now they are even bigger 
and 9th and 10th is becoming like the almost like the older J audience okay that's how the competitive environment that's how competitive environment has become and even dummy schools back in the day it was considered a stupid idea to go to a dummy school in 9th 10th okay I know only one student who did that but nowadays there are so many students who go to dummy uh, schools in class 9th 10th itself I even know some students who go to JE prep and coaching and all in 5th or 6th or 7th class right which is very weird to me okay but it is what is happening and you have to understand that what these things are doing is that they are pushing the competition to the next level now it is no longer sufficient that you will start in class 12 then you will drop and then you will clear JE no because there are students who have been going to dummy school they have been going to offline coachings they have been enrolled in online platforms for JE, NEET and all of these things since they were literally a child okay since they were 13 since they were a pre-pubescent teen if I may okay and some of you are already doing that. Some of you have been doing these things since you were you were 12 or 13 or whatever. Because uh, I know at least some people I've noticed who say that, you know, they are preparing for J27. They are in class 8th. They are in class 9th. I've noticed such people in comments under my J videos, under my, especially on this channel, there are a lot of students who are preparing for 27, 2028. 20, Let me know in the comments if you are one of those kids. So it's not the same anymore. It's not going to cut it. If you just start preparing for J in class 11th and 12th, I say it on my main channel that you know uh, you can still clear J in class 12th, you can still clear J in class 11th, which is kind of true, you can, but it is becoming increasingly harder to you know do that kind of a thing now that students are so well prepared so early on. So, what I want you to take away from this video is that in the last 10 years, things have become extremely more competitive, there are new batches coming out every year be it online, be it offline, be it in tier 2, 3 cities, be it in mainstream cities like Kota, Hyderabad, Delhi, everywhere there are a rush of students who are preparing for JNE since clear class 9th and 10th and I'm pretty sure that people like me are kind of responsible for it because when I was young I didn't have, so when I was this age I had only one person who wrote a blog for JNE, now you have so many people including myself who has actually cleared all of these exams and when I make these videos a lot of students view these and they want to clear these exams as well so when I was giving IJSO for example only some 17,000 students gave IJSO in the year in which I gave but I won't be surprised if 1 lakh students give it today okay and part of it is because of population increase as well but I'm uh, pretty sure that the competition is definitely a lot harder and you should start preparing for JE I mean if you are very serious about it I'm not here to push it on anyone and I'm not here to mince words but what I want to say to you guys is that the competition is through the roof now and if you are not going to keep up with it, you will not make it, okay? And it's not my call if you want to make it, it's not my call if you want to put out all this effort, but if you want to do it, you will have to, okay? That's the choice you have, okay? Uh, so it's your choice if you want to participate in this competition or not, completely your choice, but if you are deciding to participate, let me tell you that it is harder than ever. And if you need more help for preparing for these exams, you should definitely check out the ACAD Boost app and the website for our JE Foundation courses, for our uh, Olympiad courses, for our IJS, so for our NTC waiver course for everything which is in 9th, 10th, okay? And the whole purpose of that thing was because I know that things are becoming competitive, okay? So we provide you everything you need, your lectures, your test series, your questions with solution. Everything is there. You can check everything in the description on the app or website. Every detail you will find there. Uh, how to enroll link everything is there there itself okay so i hope you found this video uh, fruitful thank you for watching good luck